Good morning, Year 5. This morning, we're going to be carrying on looking at area. So what I'm going to do is just remind yourself, how do we find the area of a shape? What was the formula that we learned yesterday to help us find the area of the shape? So, hopefully you would have remembered that to find the area of a shape, we're going to do length times width. So we're going to be doing 12 centimetres times by six centimetres. And if you're struggling to do that in your head, you don't know your 12 times tables, remember we can always have a look at this number. What could we partition or split this into? We could split it into 10 and two. So we could do six times by 10, which is 60, six times by two, which is 12, and then put them together, we get 72. So we know that the area of this shape is 72 centimetres. So I've worked out that one for you. So what you now have to do is you have to match the rectangle to the correct area. So this one we've already done together. So pause the video here, get a little piece of paper and have a go at working out the area of these shapes times the length by the width or the width by the length. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. OK, let's see. Let's see if you were correct. Okay, so we worked out the shape on the left. We worked out that one was 72 centimeters squared. This purple shape in the middle, hopefully you all did 14 times by five. So if you don't know that off the top of your head, you could have partitioned this number. 10 times by five is 50. Four times by five is 20. 50 add 20 equals 70 centimeters squared. And then finally, this blue one, at the, blue one at the end, hopefully you would have done 13 times by six. And to help us work out that, we could have partitioned this number into 10 and three. 10 times by six is 60. Six times by three is 18. And then added them together and you would have had 78 centimeters squared. So hopefully that will be a little recap on area and how to find the area of a rectangle. So this morning we're actually going to be looking at the area of a compound shape and how do we find the area of a compound shape? Okay, so the question you're probably thinking is what is a compound shape? Does anybody know? Can anyone take a guess what they think a compound shape might be? Okay, a compound shape or a composite shape, composite is another word for compound, is a shape that's made up of two or more basic shapes. So as you can see below, here is a compound shape that's made up of two rectangles, rectangle one and rectangle two. So this compound shape is made up of two rectangles and we can split them into two rectangles to help us try and find the area. So I've decided to split mine into a rectangle here and another one here. So let's find the area of this compound shape. So it's nice and easy. I want you to have a look at the shape in front of you and I want you to try and split it into two rectangles. So draw an imaginary line down your computer screen and split it into two rectangles. So hopefully we all drew a line down the middle here. So now we have two rectangles, two separate rectangles. So I now need to find the area of both these rectangles and then I need to add the totals together. So I'm going to look at this one first. I'm going to do seven times by three and I know the answer is 21 centimeters squared. So the area of this shape is 21 centimeters squared. Over here, I know I need to do six multiplied by four, which is 24. And then I'm going to add the totals together to give me my area of my compound shape, which is 45 centimeters squared. Right then, so we now need to calculate the area of this compound shape. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and split it 
into two different rectangles. So you need to draw an imaginary line down your computer and split this into two different rectangles. So I decided to draw my line down here because I could clearly see that I have this length and this length and this one and this one. So I knew that was going to be the easiest way for me to do it. So then I need to find the area of both of these rectangles. I'm going to start with this one. So remember, I'm going to do length times width. So nine times by five, which gives me 45 centimeters squared for this rectangle. And then I'm going to do seven times by six, which gives me 42 centimeters squared. I'm then going to add 42 centimeters squared, add 45 centimeters squared, and my answer is 87 centimeters squared. Okay, so could I have split this shape any differently? So last time we split the shape down here. Can you see another way that we could make two rectangles from the shape in front of you? Absolutely. So we could have drawn a line across here, then we've got rectangle A and we've got rectangle B. The only problem is now we have a missing side. Because if we want to find the area of angle A, we need to find the missing length here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the sides that we have to work out the missing length. So we know the whole way down this side is nine centimetres. And we looked at this yesterday. The whole way down here is nine centimetres. I know if I look opposite, these lengths are going to be the same. So I know up to here is six centimetres. I know the whole way is nine centimetres. So I need to work out six add something equals nine. What do I add to six to get to nine? And hopefully you were all able to work out that nice and easy sum that I add three centimetres to six to get nine. It's quite hard to write on this computer, but that will do. Okay, so now I can work out the area of this shape. Okay, so if I have a look at this shape below, shape B, I need to do my length times my width. So I've got six centimetres over here. Well, I know this isn't nine centimetres. I know this is six centimetres because it's opposite. So I'm actually missing this side here. This is my mystery side. So let's have a look at its opposite side to see if that will help me because I know opposite sides in a rectangle are the same length. So if I look up here, I know this part is seven centimetres and I know this part is five centimetres. So to find out the length of this side, I need to do seven add five. So we know that seven add five is 12 centimetres. Okay, so now it gets to the easy part. All I've got to do is work out the area of both of my shapes and add them together. So five times by three is 15 centimetres squared. 12 times by six is 72 centimetres squared. And then I have to add them together, which gives me 87 centimetres squared, which was the same as last time we worked out the area. So it doesn't matter whichever way you split the shape, whether you split it into two rectangles that way or you do it a different way. It doesn't matter. You get exactly the same area. Right. Last one we're going to do before it's your turn to have a go. So same kind of question. Calculate the area of this compound shape. So first thing I know I need to do is I'm going to split it into two separate rectangles. And that will help me to work out the area. So remember, you can split it this way or you can split it that way. It doesn't matter whichever way you find the easiest. So I'm going to split it here. OK, so the first sum I'm going to do, because I'm going to find out the, rec the, sorry, the area of this shape. So I know I need to do eight multiplied by two. 
So 8 multiplied by 2 gives me 16 centimetres. And then I need to do 6 multiplied by 3, which gives me 18 centimetres. I'm going to add the two sides together, sorry, the two shapes areas together to give me the total. So 16 centimetres squared, add 18 centimetres squared, and my answer is 34 centimetres squared. OK, I know I said that was going to be the last one we were going to do, but I'm just going to go through just in case you might have split this shape into a different two rectangles. OK, so last time we split the shape down here. This time we're going to have a look and imagine we have split it across here. OK, so now I've split my shape across here. I've now got a little bit of a problem. I've got two missing sides. I've got a missing side here. And I've got a missing side here. So don't get confused and think, well, actually, no, that's six centimetres. I know that side. Well, you don't. You know the length of this whole side. The whole side is six centimetres. I just want to find out what this part here is. OK, so I know the whole part six centimetres. I'm going to find out what this part is. And I can do that by looking opposite. And I can see that that's two centimetres. So I know that this part here is two centimetres long. The whole way is six. So I've got to work out two centimetres. Add something equals six centimetres and that will give me my missing length. So what do I add to two to get to six? That's nice and easy. So I know that this side here, this length here, is actually four centimetres. So make sure you don't get confused, OK? Now I've got to have a look at this side. I need to find the length of this side. Again, don't get confused and just think it's eight. Eight is only part of the way across. I want to find the whole length across. So again, I'm going to look at the opposite side. So I'm going to look up here and I can see that's three centimetres. So up to here is eight centimetres and this part is three centimetres. I'm going to have to add them together. So eight, add three and I get 11 centimetres, which gives me my final side of my shape. And now it's nice and easy. I've just got to find the area of both of these individual shapes and add them together. So I'm going to do three times by not six because six is the whole length. I'm going to do three times by four centimetres, which gives me 12 centimetres squared. So I know this shape here, this part of the shape is 12 Oh, it's very hard to write. 12 centimetres squared. There we go. And then I'm going to do 2 centimetres multiplied by 11 centimetres. Not 8, because 8 is only part of the way across. I need to do the whole way across. So I'm going to do 2 centimetres multiplied by 11 centimetres, which gives me 22 centimetres squared. And then what do I need to do with those two areas? I need to add them together. I'm going to add 22 centimetres squared, add 12 centimetres squared, and the answer is 34 centimetres squared, which was exactly the same as the answer we got before. So it doesn't matter which way you split your shape, this way is a little bit trickier because you have to find the missing lengths. OK, your work for today then. So first question you're going to do is going to ask you to calculate the area of the following compound shapes. So these ones are a little bit easier because it's already split them into two rectangles for you. So you should fly through these ones because they've already been split. We need to multiply the sides together and then add them to find the total. When you get to these shapes here, you've got to decide how you want to split the compound shape. 
whether you would like to split it down here, across there, there or across there, it's up to you. And finally, you've got two questions and these ones are problem solving questions. So Muna thinks the area of this shape is 108 centimetres squared. Is she correct? Convince me. OK, so you've got to work out the area of this shape. And then you've got to convince me whether Muna is correct or incorrect. Same with this one. OK, well, good luck on your work today. And tomorrow we won't be doing a video. Tomorrow it will just be carrying on with some of your place value work that we were doing before we went on to the virtual online maths lessons. OK, so good luck with this. If you are having any problems with it, again, play the PowerPoint and play the video again. Pause it and just remind yourself you can play these videos as many times as you want to. All right, then. Goodbye.